today in the livestock market, cattle was mixed. That USDA beef estimate was a little bit higher and the market really today opened higher, but then really started to pull back and uh, a little bit lower. But the deferreds were kind of mixed uh, back and forth, some a little higher, some a little lower. So it almost seems a little bit like sideways trade. But the futures do continue to kind of, kind of a, uh, claw back some of the losses from really the beginning of the month. Uh, the cash decline is slowing. That's why we think we got a boost of the market. But box beef prices are still showing some weakness. So we're getting that counter uh, you know, uh, effect on the market. The C vol for live cattle is at 11.4%. So pretty high or higher, I would say, than it has been in the past number of weeks. Now the feeders were up again. That WASDE report is a positive to the futures right now, even though these numbers are just estimates that if it does come out that it is true, I think the futures have some solid support and you know can keep this market uh, going. Keep in mind that we're just $2 away from making another new high. So that's something uh, to be watching on the beef side is we're looking still very, very strong. Now today hogs did firm up that prices did hold after that uh, Supreme Court decision on uh, Prop uh, 12. Uh, I think that uh, perhaps it was already digested into the market and uh, you know that's why we didn't see any kind of uh, you know downturn at this point. But the Packers seem to be following what they're doing, what they've been doing for the last few weeks right out of the box early in the week. They come in and start bidding and you know giving some support to the market. Now we're up over two bucks today and we're just trying to break out of this little channel that we've been in here at the, you know, at the bottom of the range here. Uh, but it, uh, we will need a couple more days of this to know that we're solidly out of it before we can even think of that. Now CVAL for hogs is at 28.7%. And uh, so we're gonna be watching uh, at, for the rest of the week to see how that, uh, how the demand uh, continues. If, if we still get it going as we're moving into grilling season, we can see the, the markets across the board really start to strengthen.